asking, receiving. Bible talks about ask, you know, you know and, and there's nothing wrong in that per se, but it's the way which you do it, which is the issue. If you're begging or you're praying, that it can be very disconnected from God, who is our provider. You know, Jehovah Jireh, God's provision shall be seen, is a reflection of God's goodness, mercy, love, and desire to bless us. You know, and when we come into understanding of sonship, in a sense, we are blessed to be a blessing. And therefore, that is a part of outworking of our identity. As a son of God, knowing who I am, I am a blessed person. It is not something I'm trying to get. It's someone who I am. Therefore, yes, it is all within me. God is within me. Heaven is within me. The resources of I'm connected to that realm within me, within the core of my being. I am connected. Rivers of living water are flowing from my innermost being. And I can draw from and drink that source, which is the source of life. It's a source of energy. So I'm drinking from rivers of living water. I'm not asking God to, to give me a drink. I am drinking from the supply that is him, which is the spirit, which is the river of life in me, which is inexhaustible supply. So I can continue to drink from that supply. I'm not asking him for a drink. When it comes to cardiogenosis type things, that is the relational connection that I have with God in which he knows my heart. I know his heart and we are one. Therefore, I know he is my provider. I trust him. Cardiogenosis is about trust. That trust outworks in the way I live. Therefore, I'm not asking him, trying to receive from him. I am living in the state of being blessed. I trust in his provision. He is my provider. He is my protector. He is the one who directs and guides my life. I trust him. Therefore, the more connected I am relationally to him, the easier it is for everything to flow out of that relationship. So, yes, I can go to the treasury room of heaven and I can see heaven's resources released into my life on earth. Or I can and I can do that. But I actually, it's I am in a state of being blessed. I live in that conscious awareness of trusting in my father who loves me. I don't doubt or have unbelief. His provision shall be seen. His provision is because I am seeking first that relationship. Everything else will be added to me. Now, prayer in the context of what Jesus said quite a lot was also in the context of the old covenant age they were living in, in which there were certain things that they were operating in within that old covenant, which is very different from the new covenant, which is a covenant of grace and mercy and love. And therefore I would say, is it a skill to be learned? It's more a relationship to be had. The more time you spend with God in relationship without an agenda of asking him for stuff, the more you will know his provision because he's a good God and he wants you to be Therefore, sonship is a blessed state in which everything flows from that state because you know God is your provider and your, his provision shall be seen. So I would encourage you in, in these things, rather than thinking about, OK, I need to ask, I need to wait, whatever, is actually who am I? And in my identity within my relationship with him, in that, everything is provided to enable me to be who he made me to be. It is an outworking of me being who I am, and everything I need is already prepared for me. I just have to walk it out and let it manifest in my life. Now, there are, of course, there are things I can do. I can call things that be not as if they are. I don't have to ask God and say, God, can you do this? And he say, well, you can do that. So I can call things that be not as if they are. So if there isn't something manifested yet, I can call it into manifestation. I can brood over that which is the heart, Father's heart for me, and I can brood to incubate the manifestation of that, and then I become his voice, and I can speak it into being, and I can manifest that reality by choosing the reality which manifests around me in alignment with his heart 
and his desires for me. So I'm not passive in it. I can do what I can do. I can rule. I'm seated in heavenly places, but I'm never doing it independently of him. I'm always doing it from that place of intimacy and heart to heart relationship. Therefore, I'm never going to do something other than what I see him doing. So I'm not going to operate independently or ask for things or try and get things which are out of a wrong heart and a wrong motive. All I need in my life is that which he has for me in alignment with my destiny. Therefore, I always have what I always need to fulfill my destiny. As soon as I start doing things in my own strength and my own understanding, then I'm going to run out of resources and I'm going to have to try and get them. When I'm flowing at working my destiny in him, then everything is manifested around me. Or I know how to manifest it around me when I need to call that into being or choose that reality. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.